Uh, when I was a small kid, the only light you can use, you can get it from kerosene. You're tired, you, you know, scratching all over your eyes and everything, and the smoke that you know, you're inhaling it. <coughs> when a community does not have access to power, we wouldn't have a developing in that area. You're living like in a very deplorable condition because you can't access power. When I was just in college, I just came back and I was just shocked. I saw, you know, electricity poles erected around a, indeed, it lit up our community. So we saw like a transforming community because everybody's embracing the project. We have the video hall, we have the barber shop, and we have the general shop. We have the kiosk, which prepares for us tea. We have also built a library that's connected to the power. So exactly, it's really improved. I'm seeing the disposable income in people's pockets because of this small, small business, because they have extended hours of doing businesses. We're at a pivotal moment where the cost of solar has gotten so dramatically low that low-income customers can now afford solar and they actually don't need to wait for the grid to arrive in 80, 90, 100 years. Acumen provides early stage capital to entrepreneurs who are tackling poverty through really pioneering solutions in social enterprise setting. It's not just about providing lighting in households because it's clear that we need to do a lot more work in investing in these communities, which is part of why we're moving along this path of empowering small businesses, where we'll see ultimately that all of the households will be picked up out of poverty and, and they can have a dignified life. I'm very, very extremely happy that Sidonge is marching forward in a good way. In my family, it has brought more good. My daughter will grow up in, in light. The move to renewable energy as, as the predominant source of energy is absolutely critical to, to the bigger challenges we face as the world. And, and climate change. We want to end poverty while fighting climate change. And renewable energy is at the nexus. So a world with universal energy access is a world that's inclusive and it's planet friendly. It's a world in which families are empowered to change their own lives and gives them a future.